Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to write down the isomers of C4H8O, in particular the aldehydes, ketone, unsaturated alcohols and unsaturated ethers. Cyclic alcohols and cyclic ethers are also possible for this elemental composition which we will see in a separate video. All elemental compositions of the type Cn, H2N, O will have a degree of unsaturation equal to 1 and therefore all these different classes of molecules are possible. In this video we will look at the aldehydes, ketones, unsaturated alcohols and unsaturated ethers. So let us do this one by one. Aldehydes, one, two, put the carbonyl group, three, four. So that is butanol, we have a four carbon chain. And then number 2, keep the aldehyde at the end and then make a branching. So this is 2 methyl, 2-propanol and these are the 2 aldehydes that we can write. Let us go to ketone. Only one ketone isomer is possible, 3, 4, this is butane, 2 one We can't have butane 3 one because if you do the numbering on the other way around and that will become 2 one again if you do the numbering from right to left and therefore only one ketone isomer is possible. Let us go to the unsaturated alcohols. We can definitely write but 3 in 1 all, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then the OH group, 1, 2, 3, Four. This is but three in one all. No cis trans isomerism is possible, and also keep it in mind that alcohol is the functional group that gets the top priority compared to the double bond and therefore the numbering has to start from right to left in this case. Let us shift the position of the double bond, keep the OH there itself and now in this case cis trans is possible. So what I wrote is the trans isomer but I am going to use the EZ notation to make it more clear. I prefer to use the EZ uh, convention while naming the cis trans uh, isomers to avoid uh, all possible confusion. So higher priorities are on the opposite side keep it in mind that we have a hydrogen here, hydrogen here. So our higher priorities are here on the opposite side. So the name of the compound is but in bracket 2E in 1-all. Let us write the Z isomer also 1, 2, 3, 4 and then the OH put the double bond and this is but. 2z in 1 all and then number 7 let us shift the double bond one more time and 
this is once again E isomer hydrogens are on the opposite end so but 1e in 1 all and then number 8 the z isomer of this so this is but 1 z in 1 all and then number 9 let us shift the position of the OH and keep the double bond between uh, 3 and 4 and now this is a special case because now we have a chiral center. So let us rewrite this. We are going to have two isomers. So 9 OH and the hydrogen will be behind. So this will be 2R but 3 in 2 all. And the reason I am saying this is uh, 2R because if you look at this way in the in the from the uh, feature projection then what will happen is the hydrogen will be on my right hand side and the OH will be on my left hand side. Let us do this uh, this way. Let us write the Fischer projection and verify whether it is R or not. So, hydrogen here, then the carbon carbon double bond. So, as per priority, oxygen gets the first priority because the rest of the two are carbon. So this carbon carbon double bond gets the second priority and then the methyl will get the third priority. Hydrogen will get the fourth priority. Now we need to do a swap so that we can bring the hydrogen down. So this is swap 1. Hydrogen here 1, 4 carbon carbon double bond and then 3 here 2 here. Let us do one more swap so that we do not have to change the original configuration. So HO here, hydrogen here, 1, 4. Uh, this will be the second swap will be between these two. So this is 3, this is 2 now. Now, this is going in a clockwise rotation and therefore, the original configuration is R and that is what we got here. Okay. One more isomer. So, because we wrote R and then the SC is obviously going to be this one. Okay. So this is 2 yes. Okay. 2 yes. Build 3 in 2 all. To get more isomers, let us shift the position of the double bond once again. In the earlier case, we had a build 
3 into all and now what we are going to do is we are going to move to 2 into all. So let us shift the position of the double bond 1, 2, 3, 4, OH at 2 position and put a double bond between 2 and 3. So the numbering here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this results in E is at isomers once again. One thing you need to be careful about is you should not uh, if you are going for cis trans once again this may lead to confusion. So we will go to the, stick to the E is at uh, notation once again. So as per priority on this side OH gets the top priority because the atomic number of oxygen is higher than the atomic number of carbon. Here it is 8, there it is uh, 6. So, you have a methyl group there. So, 1, 2. On that side of the double bond, we have hydrogen and methyl. So, this gets 1 and that gets 2 because we have a hydrogen there okay, that is hidden. So, our priorities are on the same side and therefore, this is an Z isomer and therefore, the IEPAC name for this isomer is but two Z in two all and then we can also write the E isomer 1, 2, 3, 4, put the double bond and this will be but 2E in 2 all because now the priorities are on the opposite side 1, 2 here and then 1, 2. So, the priorities are on the opposite side and let us write one more isomer. This is number 13. Let us shift the position of the double bond one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This isomer is but 1 in 2 all. No cis trans isomerism is possible because we have hydrogens on the same, like on this side of the double bond, we, what we have is hydrogen and therefore no cis trans is possible or no E z is possible. So, this is but 1 in 2 all. Now, that is all about the 4 carbon chain alcohols. Let us go to the 3 carbon chain alcohols. Number 14, we can also write an isomer like this we have methyl groups on say, say, same side of the double bond and therefore no cis trans or no EZ. The numbering is 1, 2, 3. So, this is 2 methyl prop 1 in 1 all. So, based on a 3 carbon 
parent chain. And we can write uh, one more isomer. Let's make it two in one all instead of uh, one in one all. So we can also write an isomer where put the OH group there. So we have one, two, three. Once again, no cis trans is possible because we have hydrogens on the same side here. So we can name this isomer as 2 methyl prep 2 in 1 all. So that is all about the alcohols of C4H8O. Let us move on to ether isomers. One thing you need to keep it in mind here is that the alkene gets more priority compared to the ethers while numbering and that is something we need to keep it in mind. So we had 60, 15 isomers so far and so let us start the numbering with 16. We can write an isomer like this. So put a methoxy and then two, three, put a double bond here. So here the numbering starts one, two, three. No cis trans is possible because we have two hydrogens here on one side of the double bond. And the IUPAC name for this isomer is 3 methoxy because you have the methoxy group at 3 position. Okay. 3 methoxy prop 1 in. And then number 17. Let us just shift the double bond and now we have cis trans isomerism is possible, geometrical isomerism is possible. So we are going to use the EZ convention once again. So here you have a hydrogen and there you have a hydrogen. So let us assign the priorities. This will obviously get the low priority. So, higher priorities are on the opposite side and therefore this is E isomer and the IUPAC name for this ether is 1 methoxy because the numbering starts from here 1, 2, 3 not the other way around. Okay. 1 methoxy. prep 1e in. If you start the numbering on the other way around, you will be giving higher number for both alkene as well as the sub methoxy substitute and therefore numbering has to be done this way. And then number 18, let us write the Z isomer of this. That will look like that. This is 1 methoxy prep 1z in. We can write one more isomer. So 1, 2, 1, 2. So put the double one here and here the numbering has to be done this way, one, two. 
so 1 ethoxy eth 1 in keep it in mind that double bond gets more priority compared to triple bond which is not relevant here and then comes the single bond carbon carbon single bond then comes the ether and therefore this IPAC name is correct. So that is all about the aldehydes, ketones, unsaturated alcohols and unsaturated ether isomers of C4H8O. Thank you for watching this video and if you do like this video consider subscribing it to Chem Media. Thank you.